welcome back to my channel. So today is our 20 week pregnancy update. And um, I am so excited. I am, ha or we are halfway there and it the time has flew by. Honestly, you know, this pregnancy was a little bit harder than my first one, but definitely time is flying by. I cannot believe that in just four months, we're gonna have our little baby with us. So today's also very exciting because in about three hours, and three hours and a half, we have our doctor's appointment to find out the sex of our baby. But I won't find out today. I'm actually gonna find out on Saturday. Today is Thursday, so I have to wait two more days just because um, we chose to have like a little reveal, not a party, just like a real, um, Sorry, reveal dinner with my mother-in-law and my father-in-law and my husband. Um, so we're both very excited about that. We can't wait. Um, my husband today, actually, before he left work, he was like, I don't know if we're going to be able to wait. We might just be like, you know, <sighs> sorry, out of breath. <laughs> what the heck? Like, let's just find out. But we're going to try so hard to wait till Saturday because it, you know, it'll be very exciting. But I also don't know. Um what my reaction will be and I don't I know I do want to record it just because I want to I want to know and I want to see it but um and keep it as a memory of course but hopefully uh I don't cry or I'm probably gonna cry because I'm gonna be so excited whether it's a boy or a girl but please don't mind shoes um Carlos's shoes back there and a paper bag <laughs> but um so yeah, let's get started with this uh, week's checkup. So I wrote down everything on a no notebook um, because I noticed that on my last video, I didn't really say everything that I wanted to say. So I definitely want to make sure I say everything that I want to say. So like I said, I am 20 weeks as of yesterday. Um, I had a doctor's appointment last week and I've gained uh, three pounds, which I thought was I mean I guess it's not bad that I've gained only three pounds but I thought uh knowing me and knowing how I've been eating and all of that and not working out and all of that I thought I was gonna gain a lot of weight so it's only been three pounds and I know that the last months of pregnancy that's when the baby grows the fastest and the most so um yeah I definitely have to stop eating Jack in the Box and just eat vegetables and salads and um, chicken and fish, but we're not fish. Can I eat fish? No, I don't. I don't ever eat fish at all. I I don't like fish at all, so I don't even know. But let's see. Okay, so the first question was, um, or not question, but my first notes that I took it was my uh, weight gain, and it was just what I said, three pounds, and I thought I was gonna weigh more, but I'm not. Um, now the other thing I wanted to talk about was, um, me wearing maternity clothes. I don't have any maternity clothes. Um, for my last video, I did say that I didn't have a bump at all. Um, and it was just like my stomach blew up. So now I do have a little bump. I'll show that in a bit, but I don't... I haven't really been wearing jeans or dresses because it's gotten cold here. Um, but I've been living in nothing but leggings. And when I get home, I'm just like in my pajamas and that's it. But I've been living in nothing but leggings. And I got these leggings that have like um, this soft material on the inside so it keeps you extra warm. Um, especially because when I'm working, I uh, my outfit or my uniform is... A pencil skirt and I I can't it's I'm too cold but yeah so my next note that I did was any new stretch marks I haven't gotten any I've been really good about moisturizing my skin and drinking plenty of water and all of that good stuff but last pregnancy I had I did pretty much the same thing but I do think it's just it runs in my family for me to get stretch marks and 
I think you could tell the stretch marks that are like the ones that you scratch your skin and the ones that just happen. Um, mine aren't dark at all. Mine are just clear. So I think that um, that's, you know, like family. My mom doesn't have any stretch marks. My sisters don't have any, but I think I'm from like my dad's side of the family. Um, so yeah, so my sleeping habits. They've been horrible actually. Um, I'm really tired and I, when I lay down to go to sleep, it's hard for me to sleep. My back's been hurting a lot. Last time when I was pregnant, I did have an epidural and the pain I was having was from that area where I got my epidural. Um, but I don't know if it has anything to do with that. Um, but yes, that's where the pain is coming from. So it's been hard to sleep and I can't really breathe. I did say that on my last video. I can't really breathe when I'm falling asleep um, or when I'm sleeping. So I've been pretty much like laying on my sides and I have like that boppy pillow or that pregnancy pillow. That really helps. Um, but yeah, that's what's been happening. And I do try not to use my phone and I have been like watching YouTube videos of like sleep hypnosis to help me fall asleep and that's really worked I feel like um but yeah and then like the morning to drop off tsunami to school it's so hard but then the the time change and it's actually been a lot easier well because you know I get an extra hour but it just feels a lot it just feels like I'm supposed to wake up at the time that I'm supposed to. Um, and finally, the most exciting part from this update was that um, I can feel the baby move now. And I'm so excited about that because when I was pregnant with Tsunami, I did start feeling him uh, move really early. I think I was like 16 weeks. And um, I know it was really soon um, from what I read, but I did feel it and I could tell it, it was the baby. Um, so now I just started feeling the baby move. So I'm so excited about that. Carlos hasn't been, I don't think he's felt the baby. Um, yeah, I don't think he has, but I'm super excited about that. Um, anything about my food cravings? There hasn't been anything new. I did stop eating the watermelon and basically just the fruit with the tahine chili powder. Um, I don't know if I got tired of it. I think I just stopped craving it. Um, I have been craving like hamburgers though. Like, like crazy. And Carlos is so good. Like I'll text him and be like, baby, I want Jack in the Box. And he'll be like, okay, hon, let's go. <laughs> But um, that's that. And also the thing I've noticed uh, now is I've been getting like body acne. Like you can see a pimple there and I had one here and um, like on my shoulders and on my back. They're not like, it's not really bad. It's just like random ones. Um, but I've noticed that. So that's something new this week. And... My last little note was what am I excited about as of now? And like I said, I'm excited because we get to find out the sex of the baby. So I'm super, super, super excited. Uh, we started fixing up Tsunami's room because they're going to be sharing a room. Um, I have been pinning a lot of stuff of ideas and what I want. I don't want like a huge crib. I want something small and practical. Um, so I picked everything out that I want. I know like the theme that I'm going for. Um, so I'm super excited to start decorating and I'm super excited for Saturday for us to find out. That way I can like, if you go to Target or if I go to any other store, I'll be able to buy stuff. Um, oh, I thought somebody was knocking. Um, so yeah, that's really exciting. And I don't think I have anything else to say um, other than I'm excited about my, um, ultrasound today. My mother-in-law's coming with us. Unfortunately, my mom can't make it. And Tsunami's also coming with us. He actually said like, mommy, I think I'll just stay home this time. And maybe you can just like make me food and I could just play with the PS4. And I'm like, no, 
you cannot and <laughs> you have to come with me um he's only six years old can't be staying at home by himself so uh yeah i guess that is it for this week's uh video i will try to make more videos like every week it's just i don't know what to talk about and i don't think like i have a lot of different like you know uh symptoms or any other changes oh yeah and let me show you guys my belly <sighs> So before I didn't have the, like a bump at all, literally the past two weeks, this little bump um, popped out. It's so cute. And I think you could see it even more just because I'm wearing a striped. So I told you guys in the little baby haul that I made that I love <laughs> striped things. So yeah, this is like super comfy. And that's my little baby bump. Okay. Well, okay, I guess I'm done. Thank you guys so much for watching. And hopefully I will make another video. I know that I am going to vlog two days, like, doctor visit. Hopefully, sometimes we get, like, uh, ultrasound texts that, like, don't allow uh, recordings or anything like that. So I really don't want to push it just because we are going to have my mother-in-law and Tsunami and my husband in the room, but hopefully we can record. So I'm so excited. Um, and yeah, and okay, well, I guess bye. <laughs>